Now, as many Floridians know, the stress from a hurricane can linger. It certainly can, especially for anyone who actually has suffered any kind of damage. West 2's Pamela Combe caught up with one Daytona Beach woman who's dealing with flooding again just two years after Hurricane Ian. The constant pounding of the hammer and musty smell announced the damage that's been done after Hurricane Milton flooded this Daytona Beach home. All of our baseboards, everything that we replaced in this house after Ian is going to have to be torn out and replaced. It was two years ago Sonny Butler woke up to a foot of water in her house during Ian. Knowing this could happen again ahead of Milton, she tried to prepare as best she could. Anything that I had on the floor, I tried to make sure it was up somewhere, the dining room table, or in a plastic bin so it would not get wet. The floodwaters made their way into her home again. While this time it was only three inches, it was just as traumatic. I didn't know what to do. I just stood there and looked and cried. Butler was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety after Hurricane Ian, and this latest storm made matters worse. And I still don't leave the house. I mean, I'm still in that position as I was when you came before. I'm scared to go anywhere. I'm afraid my house won't be here when I come back. Butler's road to recovery is a long one. Her home will also take some time to rebuild. I'm saying three to four months probably. Butler has no intention of moving. This is why she hopes the city intervenes and helps them figure out how to mitigate flooding in the neighborhood. Reporting in Daytona Beach, Pamela Combe, West 2 News.